What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. And I ended up finding this gem at the thrift store for a grand total price of $6.49. As soon as I saw this guy, I said I have to take it with me. What actually caught my eye about it, whoa, was the back here. I ended up seeing this wire and I looked on the fifth wheel and I saw that there was a servo. So I said, yeah. I gotta take this guy with me. So this is actually the 116 scale Diecast Masters Freightliner Cascadia. Now, I tried looking for the controller for it. Their controller was not with this guy. I tried looking for it all week at the thrift store and I couldn't find it. So I did end up sending an email to Diecast Masters to see if they did have any spare controllers for this guy. Uh, I also asked them if they had any spare parts like mirrors because the mirrors are missing on this as you guys can see here on the front and right here on the door there would have been a mirror there but they are missing so I did contact Diecast Masters to see if they had any mirrors remotes available for this guy and unfortunately they have not responded back to me so what I want to try to do is I want to see if I can get this guy opened up so that I can see the electronics that they have in here and see if I can get one of my transmitters to connect to this to see if I can get this thing rolling because I can't play with it <laughs> because I don't have the remote for it. Now the one good thing about it is it did end up bringing a battery with it. Even if it didn't, I could still go on to Diecast Masters and end up ordering the battery for it. But again, I do not have the remote for this. So what my intention for this guy is, is I wanna open this guy up and I wanna see what type of electronics are in here and see if I can get one of my transmitters to connect to this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Gonna open this guy up and see what it looks like inside. All right, you guys, and we have made some progress with this Diecast Masters Freightliner. So, one of the things that I wound up doing was I took the board out of the rig in here because since I can't use this because I don't have a controller, I took it out. Now, I am not going to throw away that board just for the main fact that in case Diecast Masters does end up getting a hold of me and they do say, hey, we do have a controller and parts and whatever that you can use for that rig, then I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna save it, put it back in, put it back to how it was and use it that way. In the meantime, what I wound up doing, come over here and take a look. In the meantime, what I wound up doing was I had this ESC just basically laying around and my Fly Sky receiver. And I basically just threw that in here. Um, as you guys can see, I did add a driver in here. And here is the best part about this whole rig. Check this out. So since I put the receiver in this cubby hole that's in here there is a cover that actually goes in here now once I put this cover on and I put the body on top of here there's not going to be any way for me to access the on off switch for the ESC so luckily what I wound up doing was I got all that situated turn this guy on I actually have it running have this guy running on my fly sky GT3C I actually love this controller so I have it running on that, and when I turn this guy on, the ESC in here is turned on. Right underneath, right underneath, right there is the on-off switch. And when I turn that switch on, check this out, you guys. this guy is ready to go so as you guys see we do have steering 
all that's connected here and the servo right there is the lock for the fifth wheel I have that connected to whoa I have that connected to the third channel right there so if I hit the third channel on here the fifth wheel opens and closes so the one thing bad thing about not being able to use the board that comes with it is now I don't have lights uh, I do I will end up getting a kit that is going to get um, lights on running for this guy that's if that is if diecast masters does not get a hold of me with this guy so we will see how it goes from there so this guy is running I have like I showed you guys steering works we now have throttle that's awesome so I'm gonna put this guy all back together then we are gonna take it outside and give it a little run and see how it does All right, guys, in there it is, Freightliner Cascadia, and I have got to say, I really, really like this thing. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm really, really happy that I have it in my possession, that I was able to find it for the price that I did. This thing is a $300 RC, brand new, and for $6.50, hey, I, it is what it is, man. Um, the one thing that does kind of bum me out about it is the fact that these are the only wheels that are driving this thing. These rear ones, they are freewheeling. But listen, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to wind up getting a trailer so I can haul a couple of my RCs and be it what it is. Um, the other thing I do want to do to this is get all the lights to work. So I will be getting a light kit to get all these lights working in here so I can have the lights, have it running. Uh, what I did kind of find out as I was out there making this video is that the steering servo is kind of going out, meaning that as I was trying to steer, there were times that this thing didn't want to steer. So basically the servo would be working, then it would stop working. It would work and it would stop and it would work and it would stop. And I think that the servo in here is actually going out. Luckily, the servo in here is a three wire servo. So I can add a different servo in here if need be, if this one really does go out. So with that being said, everybody, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in another video. Y'all have a good one. Keep RCing.